So President Biden saying that the U.S., quote, does not support independence for Taiwan. He made that comment briefly to a reporter when he was leaving the White House. That, after the island defied China, elected a president that Beijing calls dangerous, the former vice president of Taiwan. Watch. Interesting. Okay, former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is the highest ranking U.S. official to meet with a Taiwanese leader here in the United States, and he joins me now. Um, Speaker McCarthy, good to have you with us. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. So I, I want to start by actually going back at some other exchanges that President Biden had on this same topic in interviews. Watch this. Would U.S. forces defend the island? Yes, if in fact there was an unprecedented attack. So unlike Ukraine, to be clear, sir, U.S. forces, U.S. men and women would defend Taiwan in the event of a Chinese invasion? Yes. Are you willing to get involved militarily to defend Taiwan if it comes to that? Yes. You are? That's a commitment we made. Okay. Um, how do you riddle all of that? I guess there, you, you could put it all under one China policy, but it's, it's a little confusing the way that he has been laying it out. It's dangerously confusing because as he says that as president, the White House usually walks back his comments a couple days later. If there's one Achilles that Biden has, it's so many. It's a, from the economy and inflation from the border. But if you really look long term in, in his political history, foreign policy he tries to brag about, he always has made the wrong decisions. You just look at from Afghanistan, from how he handled Putin with Ukraine. He has dealt with Taiwan wrong by giving mixed messages. The one thing we've always learned from Ronald Reagan is peace through strength. You know, I hosted the current president of Taiwan at the Reagan Library. It was a bipartisan meeting, Republicans and Democrats. And after our meeting, we stood right outside with a piece of the Berlin Wall. And I remember we had more than 170 cameras there. The more the strength that America has, and we have our three communiques in our relationship with China, but the stronger we are with Taiwan, the stronger the world is and the safer the world becomes. But these mixed messages by the president of the free world to say one thing, walk back, and to say another, he should have just congratulated the new president. China sure. doesn't get to determine been who easy. the president of Taiwan is. The yeah. people of Taiwan get to determine that. So leadership in uh, China, the foreign minister says Taiwan independence has never been possible. It has not been possible in the past, will never be possible in the future. Anyone on the island of Taiwan who wants to pursue Taiwan independence or split China's territory will be severely punished by history and law. Those are strong words. Uh, final thought on that. Yeah, I mean, China tries to be very strong about this. I think the stronger that America is about a relationship, the, the more peace around the world and it's always worked. Uh, Reagan has proved it peace through strength. Under the Biden administration, we're now in war in Europe. We've got, administra we got embassies we're uh, evacuating. He's not strong when it comes to foreign policy. Former Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy of California, thank you very much, sir. Always good to see you. Hope to see you soon. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.